Sean stood at the base of the towering mountains with his eyes fixed on the summit. He wasn't just any mountaineer. He was a survivor. For legendsoffaith.org, I'm Rob Cutter. Born into a life filled with adventure and love for the outdoors, Sean's world was abruptly turned upside down. When he was diagnosed with stage 4 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at the tender age of 13. Despite the outlook, Sean refused to surrender to despair. Instead, he clung to his unwavering faith. After months and months of treatment, Sean was finally in remission. Then, a few years later, when Sean was 16, he was diagnosed with Askin's sarcoma, a rare cancer that attaches itself to the walls of the chest. Again, the family was told that the odds of survival was not good. He was even put into a coma by the medical staff. After a year, another miracle happened. Sean woke up from his coma and was healed. During his many hours of lying there on the hospital bed, he would watch the Ironman World Championships on TV. He thought to himself that someday he would like to participate, regardless of having only one functioning lung after his illness. As Shaw navigated the treacherous terrain of his illness, he discovered a newfound purpose to inspire hope in others battling cancer. Armed with little more than his faith and a burning determination, Sean set out to conquer the impossible. It was just a few years later, Sean achieved a feat that many deemed impossible. He stood atop the world's highest peak, Mount Everest. But Sean's journey was far from over. Driven by a profound desire to inspire hope in others, he embarked on a quest to conquer the seven summits the highest peaks on each continent. With each summit he reached, Sean shattered the limitations imposed upon him by his illness. His triumphs became a testament to the incredible power of the human spirit, a spirit fueled by faith and determination in the face of adversity. But Sean still had a few more challenges to accomplish. Now in his 40s, he was still pushing the envelope, skiing in the South Pole, he pretty much completed the Explorer's Grand Slam. But he still had one remaining goal. Sean traveled to Hawaii and competed in the Ironman World Championships. In the face of adversity, Sean Swarner emerged victorious, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. His amazing story is a reminder that God has given three precious gifts that will remain after everything else is stripped away. Faith, hope, and love. Sean's journey serves as a reminder that no mountain is too high to climb and no obstacle too great to overcome when fueled by faith and determination. For more stories like this and for ways to donate, visit us at legendsoffaith.org.